Hi, welcome to my talk about ValidateDB. It's about validating observations stored in a database. So the virtual take home message of this talk is that you can, with ValidateDB, you can validate your database records before any statistical analysis. You can build rules with validate, it's not our R package, and execute them with ValidateDB. And ValidateDB is built on DB4IO, so it should work on any DBI supported database. As we all know, data cleaning is a very important step in our work. And one of the first things you should do in data cleaning is checking if your data is valid. So let's see an example from the book for your work. So for example, it's wise to check if age is non-negative or for example, that children do not have any income. Validation not only helps you to check the quality of your data, but also communicate about it uh, and to make your domain knowledge explicit and reuse it over and over. So checks uh, can be repeated. So with validate, and not to be confused with, with validate DB, you can specify a domain specific language or you can specify uh, data checks and each validation rule is an R expression resulting in a logical data can be checked and you can do all kinds of statistics on these errors you find. Uh, these validation rules are also used by other packages to do imputation or data correction or finding other errors. So in validate you can specify a valid data object in this case it's just in the source code but can also be uh, externally in a, in a database or these rules can also be specified in a database or in a yaml file with extra metadata describing the intent of each rule um, and <coughs> this checks if h is non-negative and if there is an income however validate works on data frames if you have large tables this can be a problem so often a common solution is to use databases to, to store the data and to do aggregation for selections in the data just before analysis. But you still need to do some quality control on the data. So validate DB can be used just like validate but on a database table. Uh, and in, instead of writing SQL statements to check for data, you just write R statements same statement as validate. Checks are lazy and can be stored in a database or in a sparse format. So let's look at an example. Suppose we have this data set with a child of 12 years old earning 5,000 euros or dollars, uh, which is just in a database table, as we can see in the print screen. And if we define a validated set, rule set, saying that if there is a salary age should be over 15 we can see in the in the screen that um, the first record doesn't fails in this uh, because there is a, it's a child of 12 years old earning a salary so this works just like validate but if you look at um, the object itself you can see it's it's on a sql object um, and each check or rule is a column in the database or a lazy column. So there's a query, as you can see. So each column in this lazy query is uh, results in true, false, or NA for uh, each rule. Uh, the rules are automatically translated into SQL, as you can see. So we have this first data set. It's a working income mean age, and these are translated into SQL statements as we can see uh, right there. There's also a sparse representation, so validation control rules normally result in a, for each record of, of uh, a record describing if it fails or not fails, a validation check. Uh, but if you do it in sparse format, only the failed ones or the missing ones are stored. So thank you for your attention. If you have any question, just mail me and I'm curious, install the package validate DB. Thank you for your attention.